Um, my first interest came actually when I was like 12 years old. I was in a Broadway show called Fanny, and uh, I actually sang with Florence Henderson. She played my mother. And uh, I was in the show for like two years, and uh, we were on the Ed Sullivan show together. And so I got, I kind of got the bug back then, you know, when you sing every night before a full orchestra and, and, you know, you have that kind of vibe going and that contact with the audience, it never leaves you. And, and even though I wanted to, uh, I decided that, that music would, was too unstable of a, of a livelihood to have. I, I said, I'm going to do something really, you know, definite and sure and be a doctor. And so I went on and went to college and went to a year of medical school and then hated that and then went off and started to play music because I'd always played in bands when I was in high school and college. And so uh, I put a band together in Europe and we toured around and I wound up in England and got into my first real professional band on a major label, which was Island Records, and the band was Spooky Tooth. The mentors that I had in those early days would really would have been singers like Ray Charles and Aretha Franklin and Bobby Blue Bland and, and uh, James Brown. I loved R&B, early R&B. I used to listen to it all the time. So I kind of grew up on early rhythm and blues. And, and also, you know, the early rock stuff too, like the Jerry Lee Lewis's and the Elvis's and the, of course the Beatles. I think art is a very, very important part of education because it's a big part of life. If you take art out of life, you take the passion out of life. And I think it's vitally important for children to be introduced to art, you know, whether it's painting, whether it's sculpture, music, all those things. It's very important for children to learn how to express themselves that way.